Hey Scorpio, welcome to Soul Vibin'. Back with another tarot reading here for you. Scorpio, we're gonna go ahead and get started with your reading. We're gonna see um, your person's current feelings towards you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tap in. I'm gonna be pulling out some cards for you just to start the reading off. But before I do get started, I wanna burn a little bit of sage here. So I hope you don't mind. This is actually incense from Peru, from the Amazon in Peru. So, I'm sending out my love and light. This is for all Scorpio signs, of course, as always. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome. Let's go ahead and uh, start your reading with a affirmation. This is for Scorpio. Everything I do is a choice, so I am in control of my reality. Gotta remember that, Scorpio. And we also get the thoughts I choose to believe right now are forming my experiences. I now listen to what I say, and I do not say anything that I do not want to become true for me. All right. So let's go ahead and look at your person of interest. Let's look at their feelings. What are they feeling right now? What does Scorpio need to know about their person? Whether you're in separation or not. Let's see. So you get trust, okay? Maybe this person is having a hard time trusting, okay? Or maybe you are. But I feel like it's this person. This person um, has trust issues, okay? It's point blank, period. I know they do. Um, they have trust issues, but you guys are still getting to know each other. But just know this person may be keeping themselves at an arm's distance just because they, um, they're, they're scared, for sure. They have trust issues, okay? For yourself here, it's time to take back control of your life. You got this twice, Scorpio. So I feel like for some of you, maybe this is a message for you that you're going to have to say bye to overthinking or even this relationship. It just depends on where you're at. It is safe for you to love in the reverse. Heart to heart conversations. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see what they're feeling, okay? What is Scorpio's person feeling towards Scorpio and what does Scorpio need to know at this moment in time? Um, I do feel like, um, uh, other than that, it may be going really well for you guys, okay? I do feel like both of you guys want to get to know each other, okay? So what is Scorpio's person? Show me Scorpio's person. Okay, six of wands. You may be dealing with a fire sign. And the chariot, okay. Okay, so you're... Hmm. Okay. This is a this is the type of person that likes to likes to have their way. Okay, they like to have their way, whatever that is. Oh, definitely. So the person you're dealing with, they like to have things their way. Okay, I just want to say that. Like if things don't go their way, they have this tendency to maybe um, distance themselves. Or this is the type of person that only relies on themselves. Okay, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm getting a lot of masculine energy. But this is also someone who looks good, does very well for themselves, is single. And for some of you, they're like a single father. And they have options. All right. So if you just started talking to this person, maybe you just met this person somewhere. I, I just feel like this person is so successful to a point where their ego can kind of get in the way of... Um, of, of forming intimate bonds with people. And I feel like you already kind of picked up on this by the way their character is. Um, not that this person is a bad person or anything, but it's more so that they're a little cocky. Let's just say that. They're a little cocky. Uh, the Three of Swords is the back of the deck energy. So this person may have gone through a heartbreak in the past. Yeah. And so they have a heart. They do have a little bit of a hard time opening up. The thing is, is that they are open to doing this, but um, they're scared that, you know, shit's going to repeat, basically. Um, so they, the way they, their defense mechanism, their defense mechanism is all about wearing a, a mask and um, they wear this mask on the daily, okay? They wear this mask on the daily to, to just get through life, 
but it doesn't mean that they're not really attracted to you because they are. They're very, very attracted to you and they see a lot of potential in you, okay? They also feel like you're really sexy. They, they, they think you're really sexy. They're really um, physically attracted to you. But they just don't know if they're going to get the... This person doesn't know if they're going to get that that bad bitch side and lose you forever and have you walk away and leave them with like a broken heart or something like that fuck i don't know this person seems like they're looking way too deep into it but that's just the type of person they are um i'm getting like pisces energy okay so this person you may already have a kid with them you may have a um maybe you maybe you're in a long-term commitment with this person um for those of you you're dealing with a pisces or you're dealing with a Gemini. I don't know. I just heard Gemini. So, so four of cups. Yeah. So this person doesn't want to get their hopes high. Okay. They don't want to get their hopes high. So yeah, they're, they're investing into it as much as you're investing into it. So whatever you're investing in, if this is just like strictly sexual or passionate, then that's how you're going to see them. Okay. If they feel like it's more emotional, then, you know, they may be open to it. Some of them may, may not be, but they are looking at the details. This is the type of person that will look at the details and they will like try to figure you out by the way you, by the way you interact with others, by the way you interact with them, by the way you um, talk to them, by the way the vibe is. So this is a very intuitive person that you're dealing with, to be quite frank. Um, now, I don't know if I'm talking to a masculine or if I'm talking to a feminine. I feel like it can be both. But you may be dealing with someone who practices magic, with someone who, like I said, is very intuitive um, or who who may even be, um, like, they're just worldly. So they may have a lot of, like, they may have experienced a lot through life. So they may be very wise. Um, but they're the type of person who, who will go into things um, knowing they're going to get their way and knowing they're going to win. So like their drive and ambition is really, really high. Okay. So you may be dealing with an Aries, but like, it's, it's like, it doesn't come off as bad. It just comes off as strong and powerful and like, it just comes off as a little bit, um, intimidating. I want to say. Now, I don't know if this is how they feel about you. It can be. If it doesn't If it doesn't sound like them, this is how they're viewing you. But let's see. Yeah, the emperor. This is someone who is serious and who you can take serious. But I also feel like if there's something about you or there's something, you know, that they notice that they don't really like, this is someone who may want to move away from you only because they know what they bring to the table and they will not put up with any bullshit they won't put up with any bullshit i'll tell you that much this may be you too scorpio like i may be describing you like maybe this is the energy you need to embody moving forward um embracing this type of vibe because i do feel like you bring so much to the table that you really don't need anybody so I just also feel like you don't want to get your hopes high with anybody that you meet because you haven't met the right person. But I do want to say that there is a new beginning for you to start something passionate with someone around you if you really wanted to take it that route. But there will be a need for you to protect yourself, okay? Um, and there will be there will be someone for you that you're going to get married to in the future. That's something I was being called to let you know of. But I do want to say, like, this person views you as very, very highly attractive, like very sexy. Um, you're very, very beautiful gorgeous like this person is so into your physical looks but for this person if you want to keep this person entertained it's going to take more than looks but they will be infatuated by you and by your looks if this is something that you just want to kind of go nowhere all right five of pentacles is here um this person struggles a lot with self-worth um, they struggle a lot with self-worth, even though in, on the outside, it may seem like they have so much going on for themselves. Um, they struggle, maybe they struggle financially, but I'm, I'm not getting that they struggle financially because I feel like financially they're a very secure person. This is more like a self-worth type of thing where they feel like they don't deserve love because they've been disillusioned so many fucking times that they just kind of get bored with the idea of love and they like to keep things passionate for that reason because 
they've just been let down and they also feel like because of their financial status or status in in their career their work or what they do they feel like they'll never have love because people don't take them serious and this yeah the king of wands keeps popping up this is why they put on the king of wands face to like they, it, it seems like they're really attractive and like you know their standards are really high though i'll just tell you that much they're not going to take anything less than what they feel like they're worth so i don't know if it's just their ego or it's who they truly are at heart but at the end of the day this person just doesn't feel th this person does feel lonely i do want to tell you that they feel lonely and they don't want to get their hopes high but they are they they have a hard time um living in the present moment but this is something that they're learning to do okay and then you get ace of cups okay so they they are learning to open up their heart let me see okay so i really love i love this person's energy i really do they seem like a really trustworthy person like someone who can bring so much to the table but it just seems like if if there's something that they don't like about you they will not put up with the bullshit they will cut you off Ethere ethereal touch okay so you may be connecting with this person spiritually that's just energetically what i picked up number nines are very spiritual numbers so they may be a life path number nine or you may be a life path number nine and then she loves so the, if you're a masculine listening i feel like this person is already like they already love you for something that you do this may be something creative you're very successful at something um if you don't know this person then this can be you i feel like you're very loving you're very caring maybe they see this about you they feel like you touch their soul that's exactly what it is um yeah they feel like you touch their soul but it's just something about them that can i see where this connection is headed where's this connection headed with a scorpio and their person so i just saw the moon the unknown <laughs> where's this connection headed so we got the four of wands relationship okay so you guys are going to have a relationship with this person okay a secret relationship because they see you as their other half they do they see you as like wow so they're spying they're spying on you they're very attracted to you i'm telling you like they are so they're debating on whether they should come forward or not and take action towards you because they feel like they do take because the the strength card and these cards that this this person has a lot of light to them or you give this person a lot of light and strength to move forward they also feel like you can hold it down like i don't know if this person just knows knows you i don't know how they know of you or they're getting to know you i don't know but I'm going to tell you, like, they see you as a queen of cups and queen of pentacles. They see you as very mature. And they also feel like you're very loving, okay? This person loves your personality. So to this person, it's all about the personality, how deep the connection can be and stuff. So if the, re the relationship you're going to have with this person, if you guys do get to that point, which I feel like you will as long as you get to know each other and stuff. Um, I just feel like this person is really deep at heart. So they like deep emotional connection so if that's what you're about then this is going to go really well all right so be prepared because i do feel like this is going to throw you off a little bit if you haven't met this person just yet i feel like you may bump into them um i feel like you you may already have them around you or or it's going to really really shock you when they come into your life if they haven't came in just yet okay so let's go ahead and pull out some little letters of love because i do feel like this is a really intense intense person very deep person i really love their energy like i really if maybe this is you scorpio i don't know i just feel like um so this is your number one fan or this person is your number one fan okay this can be someone who's looking at you on social media that's why we got the page of swords they could be spying on you like i said they're like collecting information on you one way or another i don't know how this person is doing it but 
they are gonna they are gonna pursue you though but maybe just not yet i don't know who this is um, you're the complete package. They definitely see you as a complete package. They feel like you have everything and anything they can need. And But mm, it's not just physical. It's actually really deep. I'm holding myself back. Okay, so they're holding back for whatever reason. There could be red flags. It could be because they're avoiding pain and feelings and stuff right now. But I feel like you guys will meet one day. And I feel like this can be even a soulmate that you're attracting. I'm trying my best in this connection. You're always teaching me something new. So you definitely teach this person something like they learn from you. Sage, clairvoyant, psychic. This person may be a, um, a sage or you may be psychic. You may be clairvoyant as well. Maybe this is one of your psychic powers that you were unaware of. Because the moon is here. And then the queen of pentacles and the queen of chalices. So to me, this is like something that someone... like. Like someone letting you know what your gifts are, right? And then the Knave of Swords, this is like a message. So they may be sending you a message online. Tonight, Adidas. If you don't know what that means, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so let's see. This person's nuts about you, all right? Like they really, they, they, or maybe they have been in a very toxic connection, okay? So they don't want to come off as they're like super super into you when they're really really like a fan <laughs> they're a fan yeah for sure please be patient focus on the self right now no sorry i can't read focus on self the right one will come at the right time and that's exactly what i'm feeling like you haven't met this person but i feel like this is the type of person this is your ideal person they're out there and this is why they show they've shown up in this reading because that's the type of vibe i was getting like maybe you haven't met this person just yet but you will meet them with the six of wands and the getting to know each other like you will meet this person you guys have already um met in a higher dimension is what i'm hearing and the higher dimensions are the future right so like you guys may have met in the sixth dimension or in the seventh or even eighth who knows it can be years before you meet this person it could be months it could be you know days i don't know but you guys have met at another level in another dimension have my baby yeah they definitely want to that's why you got the king of the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is because they they secretly want to get you pregnant or have a baby with you or when you meet this person you're gonna you they're gonna they're gonna want you to fall in love with them because i feel like they're gonna fall in love so fast with you it's gonna be mutual they're they're gonna love you they're gonna fall in love or they want you to fall in love because they want to have a baby with you that's why you get the knave of swords they may want to have like an air sign baby they may like astrology and stuff like that too they may be into all that they may be knowledgeable about that they may know what's compatible with them what's not they're gonna want to know your your zodiac sign your rising and stuff like that to be able to like compare and contrast and like that's why you got the chariot. Like, they're going to be doing some comparing and contrasting. They may even be talking to you about old relationships and comparing you to them. And you're going to be like, they're going to be like, yep, yeah, you're like the one because you do so much or whatever. Like, you're going to see. And I don't feel like this is going to upset you at all because you're very mature. And you're very loving, caring, compassionate. So I feel like this person is going to be really comfortable. That's why you got the moon because the moon is all about comfort. So you're going to be really comfortable with, with um with them expressing themselves with you. This is a very expressive person. Um, but it does take a little bit for them to open up to. So here you get self-care. So you got self-care RX card. Okay, I'm your doctor today. Hi, welcome, I'm Dr. Carrie. So you need, what you need today is courage, okay? You need to face your fears. You may be noticing number 818 a lot. When you need courage, then maybe you just need a night off um, to take some adult beverages with your friends or family, all right? And you may need a hot bath or steam room is what I heard. Uh, live music, okay? Live music can help you heal and just feel better and live in the moment. Maybe a sinful dessert like brownies or I don't know, something with chocolate. Um, ordering takeout and then a weekend getaway. So this is definitely something that is being recommended to you by me. <laughs> If you find that it resonates, then just go ahead and use this. Um, so I'm going to remind you not to feel guilty today and indulge in something that you love, okay? Even if it feels a little bit guilty. <laughs> guilty pleasure. So definitely indulge in something you like. You may be noticing, like I said, number 888 a lot. Maybe that's why you clicked on my channel because you notice eights. And eights are all about extremes of life. 
So you may be going through um, different cycles in life that you find yourself in, but in different scenarios. Um, eights are also always about abundance and it's like the main meaning of it though. So you may have clicked on my channel because you saw number 888 on my Soul Vibin title and maybe you're attracted to abundance so you want more abundance in your life and i do feel like that's coming your way because i see the queen and king of pentacles and i also see the five of pentacles so like i said if some of you guys are struggling financially just know that your financial situation is definitely going to improve you just got to take the baby steps forward so that is all i have for you scorpio thank you so much for tuning in oops hold on forgot one more Oh, yeah, you're so attractive, beautiful, smart. It scares me. I don't think it necessarily scares this person, although subconsciously it might, you know, like there is a little bit of fear behind this, though. Behind the moon card, right? So I do feel like they may feel a little bit, like I said, a little bit intimidated or something. And then you also get, I became obsessed with you and it scared me again. So I don't think this person is fully obsessed with you i feel like they just really liked you and or they're really gonna like you they're really gonna be all about you if you haven't met them okay for some of you then this is what it is that's why you got toxic as fuck too because this is like the devil energy coming through as well as that one uh you may be dealing with a capricorn i guess that's what i'm getting from this so that is all i have for you thank you so much for tuning into this reading i'll catch you guys next time bye for now